I took a little break this week because as soon as I finished my dissertation I sort of jumped right back into making videos which I was really happy about but I didn't really take the time to get back into making bracelets because I took essentially like a two month break between making bracelets. You may have noticed there was no April wrap up, there was no May wrap up. There will be a June wrap up because I have already made quite a lot of bracelets and you can follow me on Instagram if you want to see those bracelets before the wrap up. So for this challenge I decided to sort of include you in some of the patterns that I've been making because I found them to be really really fun. So if you're new to these challenges, these challenges are something that I run during the quarantine period to keep you guys entertained and a sort of an interaction between me and you. These challenges are divided into beginner, intermediate and advanced so you can join whatever level you are. I must say though I'm running out of beginner stuff to give to you guys because the beginner stuff is getting sort of harder with each challenge challenge that I give. I'm kind of running out of stuff to give because it's sort of bleeding into intermediate territory and you might even see this with the pattern that I'm giving you today. It's kind of beginner slash intermediate already so I might have to sort of get rid of the beginner one and leave just intermediate and advanced but we'll see. If you guys have any suggestions for beginner patterns that I can use for future challenges leave them in the comments and I'll look through them. But anyway that being said let me actually get into the meat of the challenge. So my beginner friends I want you guys to create the braided stitch bracelet which looks like this. As I said it's more beginner slash intermediate, it's a little bit more difficult but you guys did really well with the heart bracelet so I think you might be ready to tackle this one if you've been following along with the challenges. I do have a tutorial, it will be linked in the card and in the description and as I said before if you have any beginner patterns that you want to suggest for the challenge leave them in the comments. My intermediate friends. As I said I've been really getting back into making bracelets and I've been making quite a lot uh, in the past couple of days and this is a bracelet that I have made very recently. Look at how gorgeous that is, isn't that a super beautiful pattern? It only took me a couple of hours because it's just like a variation of the chevron but I'm considering doing a tutorial on this later on but I don't have one now but I will be linking the pattern in the description that you guys can follow. Super fun. As for the alpha pattern it's going to be the same for intermediate and advanced so I'm going to wait till after I announce the advanced stuff to announce the alpha pattern. My advanced friends, I'm also giving you a normal pattern that I'm already creating. I thought this time we could all do it together since I don't have courseworks and dissertations to distract me. And I've been making these guys. Look at these guys. I absolutely love this pattern. I think it is so cool. I instantly started a collection. I'm definitely making more of these because I just love it so much. It's really, really fun. And it's not as difficult as you may think. I don't have a tutorial for it. I'm considering making one, but I, it's gonna be very difficult to explain the beginning since I did like a two triangle ends coming off from the loop. People are gonna ask me questions about the beginning a lot. If I make a tutorial so I'm thinking about how to do that because the pattern itself is actually very easy to make it's the tutorial content of this would be very simple it's just the beginning that I'm sort of stumped on um, and I don't know how to plus I'm, it's kind of difficult for me to film tutorials from Russia since I don't have my normal setup so I've sort of been stalling on that a little bit before I really figure it out anyway not the point I love this pattern a lot I think really cool color combinations can be made with it and I would love it if you guys join me in trying to create this beautiful design the pattern is linked in the description as always as for the alpha pattern. I'm not going to be giving you a specific alpha pattern this time. I sort of touched on this topic on my Instagram but I haven't really said anything on my YouTube channel because I was taking a break and this happened while I was doing that but we all know about the protests that are happening right now and we all know about the terrible situation that occurred in America and while I feel like I can't really speak on the subject at all because I am so far removed from the reality that black Americans have to face every day by both not being black and also not living in America and by that I mean from ages like 10 to 18 my entire sort of adolescence period I was living in Russia where there are very little black people and I've probably seen like maybe 10 throughout my entire time living here so it's very difficult for me to comprehend what is going on and the issues that are happening but despite all that I still feel very strongly about the situation and perhaps this isn't the place to really voice my opinions, I still want to show my solidarity. And so through this challenge I want to give you guys a space to express your support for the community that is hurting at the moment in making any pattern relating to this topic. And I class this as alpha patterns because I have seen a lot of alpha patterns on this topic. If you find a normal pattern as well that will show your support, that's fine. Basically you guys have entirely full creative freedom in what you want to create and in what way you want to express yourself. If you don't feel comfortable in doing that, you don't don't have to you can make one of the normal patterns that I suggested or you can just skip this one out but I felt the need to add this here as well 
so that those of you who do want to show your support can do so through this medium. I will also be linking some resources that I found helpful in sort of educating myself with this issue. As I said, I have really very little understanding of the situation and the problem, so I've been trying to educate myself. So some resources for that and ways you can help as well if you want to will be left in the description. All right, that being said, let's talk about how the submissions work. The submissions go through a service called Padlet and in the description you will find links to submissions. Now the submissions this time are going to be separate. Now while I usually separate beginner, intermediate and advanced into three separate submissions, this time I decided I'm going to separate into just normal patterns and alpha patterns so that in the next video we can discuss these separately. So go into the description, find the corresponding submission link with what you want to submit and then you'll see a big sort of pink plus sign on the bottom right, click that and submit away. You don't have to log in, you can submit anonymously but if you want to log in I will be able to see your name. As always while I'm filming this I don't know when the deadline is going to be so the deadline is also in the description. All right so now let's look at the submissions from the last challenge. All right, so last time for my beginner friends, I gave the heart pattern. And you can already see a lot of these guys on screen. The first one on the top left really stands out to me. It says, I used rainbow crochet thread to create a sort of tie-dye effect for the hearts. I really enjoyed this pattern. And I think that looks really cool. I really miss my multicolored threads, to be honest, because I left all of them in Russia. I really miss them. So it's nice to see other people using them to express their creativity. But we've got a lot of patterns here. And I must say, these are really well made. To be honest, I was expecting this challenge to be a little harder but seeing as a lot of you guys managed to create this with pretty much no issues like none of these look poorly made to me they're all super well made but I must say I'm quite impressed these look really great and I really like the heart pattern it was uh, one of the patterns that I made as a beginner that really got me into bracelets and made me realize that there's so much more that you can do with these designs so this was awesome to see. All right, so my intermediate friends, I gave you the flip-flop bracelet and I told you you have full creative freedom to create whatever bracelet that you want, just so long as it flips and flops <laughs> within the bracelet. So you can see that a lot of you guys did create the normal zigzag, but I can also see an arrowhead here. Oh, and also there was this alpha pattern with the ears. I really like that one, it's super cute. Oh, you can see some metallics here and some gradients. There's little ears. Oh, that alpha pattern really, I like it so much. I miss alpha patterns, honestly. I didn't bring enough string to create alphas. And by that I mean I do have a lot of string with me, but all the string that I have is only sort of one skein per color. So I can't create an alpha because I don't have base threads and I can't really make anything because I'm gonna run out of string pretty quickly. So I've ordered some string though, so hopefully, hopefully I get to make it soon. But I can see that you guys had a lot of fun here. Oh, I can see an uh, upside down alpha, this green one on the left. Like, the string switch happened the other way around. I've never actually made an alpha like that. A lot of you guys have been asking for tutorials on that. I've never done it myself, so I can't really make a tutorial for it, but I might try it at some point. But it's nice to see that you guys have chosen different patterns. I've never really tried doing the flip-flop with different patterns, but it is pretty interesting to see. Like, I've only ever done the flip-flop with uh, the variation of a zigzag, but uh, you can see also some beautiful colors here. Loving those gradients, absolutely gorgeous. And then this double one as well, I think I've made one of these before. I like the double one with um, the holes in it. That's a pretty neat trick. More gradients and some rainbow stuff here. Oh, look at these gorgeous colors. There's an airplane. That kind of soothes me in a weird way because my flight keeps getting cancelled. I'm trying to get back to London and my flight keeps getting cancelled and hearing an airplane pass by kind of gives me hope that maybe my airplane will fly at some point because it's been cancelled twice now and uh, is that the point? <laughs> I'm just trying to get back to London so I can actually work comfortably but anyway. I've got some gorgeous bracelets here. I really, I really like the way that different people do the ears. Like some of them, the top left here, um, has like dark ears for the cat ears and the bottom right has lighter ones. That's pretty cool. Then you have these gradients for the zigzags. Gorgeous, gorgeous. I really like a good gradient. Oh, look at that one with the uh, Dory. I, I forgot her name for a second. Wow. That's, I love those color combinations. See, it's really nice to get inspired for color combinations through your environment and whatever you have around. That's a very good way to get color combinations when you don't know what to do. But then also the color combinations like this, like the pink, the blue, they work really well as well. Oh, you guys made a lot of these. Look at you. 35 pages of flip-flops. That's probably the most submissions I've ever had from just one tier. Oh, and look, that one is like with tattered borders. That's pretty cool as well. Yeah, I don't think I've had this many submissions for a single tier. This is awesome. You guys really pulled through on this one. All right, let's check out my advanced friends. Oh, this one. Give me a sec. I forgot I gave this one as a challenge. I also made this pattern. 
and this is the bracelet that I created. It is a little bit shorter than I would have liked, I would have liked to make it longer, but I ran out of string and I couldn't be bothered to attach more, so it's a little short. You might have seen I did a video when I was real time knotting this bracelet, it will be linked in the card in the description, you guys can check it out if you want to, but let's check out your ones for now. I didn't really change the colour combination, but let's check out you guys. I can see that some of you didn't as well. That's beautiful photography by the way, I really like that. But uh, you can also see that a lot of people did change the colour combos. And you also see the um, beautiful cat ears here as well. Oh, look at that, you even did some drawings. Got the orange one over there. 44 pages, I just realised. This is even more than for the intermediate one. You guys really pulled through this time on the challenge, wow. I'm gonna have to go a little quicker, I'm sorry. We've got this shaped one, I really like that. I didn't think about making that into a shaped bracelet, but I guess it works really well. But look at these beauties, you've got some white ones. I really, really like to see how people incorporate different colour combinations into the same pattern. I don't know, I feel like, I feel like colours is my favourite thing about making bracelets, so it's really inspiring to see different colours that other people create. Ooh, those neon ones, like, they're really bright. And that alpha pattern's super well made, by the way. I did think about doing this one in a white background, so it's pretty nice to see that a lot of you guys did do that because I was heavily considering doing that. Some of you asked me whether I prefer a white background or a black background and I don't really prefer either. It's always a difficult choice for me whenever I do sit down. I must say I do sort of heavily gravitate towards black backgrounds but I don't know why. I like both a lot. And here you can see you don't even have to do a black or white background, that one is entirely pink. And I love that. But then we also have these beautiful cat ears, and there's a colour switch in that one, <laughs> that's pretty cool. Oh, here we've got both actually, that's amazing. But these guys are so gorgeous, I'm always so impressed with the bracelets that you create because it's really easy to forget that I'm talking to real bracelet makers. And whenever you guys do submit for challenges, it just amazes me how many of you guys there are and how many of you guys are really so amazing at making these bracelets like these are gorgeous i love them look at that one using the multicolored thread for the background as well i love that and now we all have like a collection of bracelets look at that I've got like a group collection of the same bracelets that's amazing these are absolutely beautiful oh i love those shells as well and the crimp ends and that cat i think i saw that cat on instagram oh i love it i love it a lot the blue with the brown actually complements very well. And you've got some more going down. I was thinking a lot what sort of end I want to do to the bracelet and I see that a lot of you guys sort of went in the same direction that I did uh, in the end, creating triangles for the ends. But I do see a lot of uh, crimp ends here as well. Oh, and then we've got the same pattern but in a smaller version. That's also really nice. We reached the end. Wow, I was really impressed with the sheer just amount of bracelets that you guys submitted this time. This is probably the most submissions ever in these challenges, so I'm really happy to see that you guys are enjoying them, and I'm definitely going to be creating more for you guys because you seem to enjoy them so much. Let me know what you think I should do with the beginner stuff. As I said, I am sort of running out of beginner patterns to give, so I might just end up giving intermediate and advanced patterns. That's what I used to do with the monthly challenges, actually. I used to give just like one level of patterns. So do let me know what you think about that. But yeah, that's gonna be it for today. Thank you guys very much for watching. I wanna give a special shout out to my patrons and especially my top supporters whose names are gonna appear on screen right now. Thank you guys so much for your support, I really do appreciate it. If you also want to become a patron, there is a link in the description where you can sign up and get exclusive rewards. But either way, I appreciate all of you, so thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!